Four minutes into June 4th, Monday, June 4th. Yep, it is a couple hours later. Uh, I believe we knocked off around 6 o'clock in the morning, so it's about 10 hours later. So we knocked off at 6 hours into June 4th. It's now 16 hours into 16 hours and 35 minutes into June 4th, and we're going to continue on with our day. This is kind of the way things go. That I, you know, there is no real end or beginning to the day. Um, I get to a point where it's enough. I can go uh, relax and let the computer do the work. And it was doing rendering almost all night long because uh, it had a variety of different things to do to, to test out and stuff like that. So, and as I, as I got up and did different things, I, and I, I never sleep straight through. Uh, I get up and I do things as I get up. And then I go back to bed again, and uh, so I, I uploaded the adventures in the library uh, for the train section. There, you'll see that coming out in a little bit. Uh, I did a, I did I did a number of different things, so uh, I think things will be fun. Uh, well, I guess kind of fun, fun for me. I, I I like the work. It's not because I have to do it in terms of. Whoosh, whoosh, do your work. It's more that, uh, like I said, like it's that giant puzzle. I really can't, or, or the game. You can't stop until you get to a good level where at least finish, finish what you're doing, and that kind of leaves you tired. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, we're beginning again. This is a, a new beginning for this period. So as it, you know, it, you, normally you go to bed and then it's the next, and you wake up it's the next day. So one day progresses uh, normally. One, one day progresses after another normally. That's not the case here. I went to bed earlier to, earlier today and now I'm getting up later today. So it's still the same day but in the mind sometimes you think it's two days. So anyways, that's uh, if you see some of the uh, that confusion about the day, that's where that's coming from. Uh, anyway, I'll talk to you a little bit later. Uh, I've got some work to do now. Um, I've got to start putting out, uh, pushing out to the social media the uh, train video. So uh, look for that online. More often than not, after an epic day, would you really move forward like uh, last, like yesterday, which was two days in a row? And I've also, I said before I go on, continue on with this uh, observation. I gotta let you know that uh, what's happening is because of the way I am end up working and sleeping. Uh, I've changed uh, how I'm doing some of the tiling. The date, see, the, here's the problem: the, the dates aren't exactly what you think they are. Because uh, yesterday's video wasn't yesterday's video. Well, it was yesterday's video. <laughs> it's, it's, it's one o'clock. It's one o'clock in the morning right now. Well, it's one thirty in the morning right now, right? And because my day often straddles two days. <laughs> the official yesterday, <laughs> for me, from my perspective, uh, would have been three days ago. So, basically, uh, most of my videos, when they're, like th when they're like this, cover two days, anyways, and when I have the 48 plus hour videos, the, 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 the 48 plus hour days, or 48 plus hour day, not days, because it's one day, the, 
it covers more than uh, more than two days on the calendar. I mean, because you know, I could end up starting on Friday late late on Friday, like around seven eight o'clock, and things will continue on until Sunday. Or the way it went this weekend is I started on Saturday, continued on to Sunday, and then didn't finish up until uh, Monday morning around 6 o'clock in the morning. So, it, I've changed the dash to the tilde. That's a squiggly line up there, so you'll see uh, all the information before then, the title before then. Then this is the saying dash and then the date is the tilde sign. That tilde sign means approximate. It, so the date isn't actually equal to the date that's following. It's an approximation of the date because I can't give you the exact date uh, when the video was shot. I can only give you an approximate. So that's sort of uh, 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 what's going on there. Uh, further, uh, I'm watching uh, uh, Corey in the house. One of my favorite characters on here is Med Madison Pettis. And I have this pension for, of course, a uh, tangent, so back to the original. Uh, after an epic day, a lot of times the day following is, in many ways, a disappointment. Because uh, a number of things could happen. One, it just, you just had an epic day and you just did so much. You had your... You, you, you know, you had your, your, the gas to the floor, the pedal to the metal, so, so to speak, and you were going as fast as, and hard out as you possibly could be going. And this naturally, the next day, particularly after, after the, you know, a large 48-hour-plus study session, because that's what I'm doing here is I'm studying, uh, what you achieve simply because the fatigue slows down, and it, in comparison to... The, the, the previous event, the previous day, which covered three days, uh, really doesn't measure up. And so it doesn't seem as awesome as it was. And then also as well, what happens is that every time you do work, work or a project or research project always creates other sub-projects and little things that have to be done. And so the day following, what's happening is that you're actually cleaning up after all the stuff you did yesterday. So the work I needed to get done today, one was pushed aside for because I was tired. I was, I was kind of knocked out. And then uh, there was a lot of research and notes and other stuff that was just literally backed up that I had to clear out first before I get it got before I can and I think I haven't done I haven't before I get to, to some of the work I need to get done today. So this is sort of the issue that is popping up, and there are still bugs that are, uh, are, are that are now popping up within uh, one of my video editors. Uh, if you just saw the uh, the train video uh, when I do the screencast. Somehow, a uh, a lag, uh, the, the, the the audio and video later on in the video becomes out of sync. I got to sort of find out where that uh, issue pops up and try how to figure out how to try to resolve it. Anyway, uh, I just sort of stop. It's it says it's one thirty now, as uh, we're into uh, we're into June fifth. <laughs> And uh, going to uh, move on. And the bizarre thing is, is, it, is it before I go, the bizarre thing is as I was clearing out a lot of the work I had to do, a lot of the different uh, uh, emails, Twitters, and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> I got a. A fan, I got fan email. Some of uh, these girls, uh, Emily and uh, Emily and Paige, 
Simpson is this, uh, what their channel is. Yeah. Oh, Paige and Emily. Sorry, I got the, I got the names traversed, or reversed. So uh, Paige and Emily Simpson. Apparently, well, they're one of my fans. Now, I didn't know I had fans. I didn't expect to have any fans. That's that's a bizarre thing for me to have fans. But anyways, I got fans. And so uh, I've promised them, if this is okay with them, that I'm going to create a uh, video autograph. Because they want my autograph. And uh, so now I'm giving them a shout out. So, hi girls, hi Paige, hi Emily. Thank you for being my fan. <laughs> so far I've got one fan. <laughs> You're it. Alright. Anyways, uh, on to clearing the decks. I'm cleaning up the mess that's around here. Uh, from the uh, research project, from the project that I was uh, working on uh, the last three days, say, since Saturday. And on to uh, the new stuff for today. Well, it's just about uh, 4 o'clock in the morning, quarter to 4. Uh, I was watching her tutorial, and this is the funny thing. She's uh, now starting to have sleep problems where uh, she works these really odd long hour days. Uh, she has to put a lot of free work in in order to get anything out of it. A lot of volunteer work. She's in one of those fields, like 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 uh, in any field that where you really own your own business, or uh, not even that. Where uh, if you're doing a lot of freelance work, nothing's ever sure or certain. You always have to be pushing yourself, going to that nth degree, in order to bring in what you need. And it really has the, the, whether you're successful at it or not depends on the type of person you are. It, it's the, the bizarre thing, even though it's not bungee jumping or anything like, you know, what, 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 what people would consider extreme, you still have to be in some ways an adrenaline junkie in order to go into these fields because the risk is so high, the risk of failure is so high that most people bow out very early on. Very few people survive. Uh, I'm in the field where uh, more than uh, more than 90% failed to get to their PhD. Uh, getting to where I am, where I've been in this now for about uh, 20 plus years, that gets you down to 1%, 99% percent failure rate. Even if uh, uh, people have, have been able to successfully set up their own research institute, which I have, uh, there are other problems that knock them off down the road. So, you know, you have to be, if you're going into these type of fields where uh, the reward can be big, but the risks to them are very, very high, uh, you have to understand that uh, your adrenaline is going to be pushed to the max almost on a daily basis, and that your vacations aren't going to be your typical vacations that the average person takes. Most people have a mundane, humdrum life, and they work 9 to 5, uh, Monday to Friday, and they have a, well, a whole hum lifestyle. And so on the weekends, when they go see movies, they need excitement. But if you're a type of person where your job is always, your adrenaline is always pushed forward, then your vacations and what you want to do in your off time is not push your adrenaline further in terms of, or push your adrenaline up like, like, that, like the average person does, but you want to pull your adrenaline back. And basically, when your adrenaline does pull back, and that's when you have your vacations, it's not necessarily a choice when you have your vacations. It's when your adrenaline pulls back far enough and that's on its own, that what you want to do the most is sleep. But what happens, the consequence of that, and you do do you get your sleep, you do get your, uh, uh, you know, your time to sleep, and you can be sleeping 18 hours at a, at, a, at a time. The problem that comes after on the, sort of the, the back side of this thing, yeah, you've got your sleep, yeah, you've more or less caught up on your sleep, but because you slept the 18 plus hours, your 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 biological clock, uh, your circadian rhythm, has all now all has now been thrown off. So you could find yourself 
wide awake at two, three, four o'clock in the morning. I mean, Cassandra, when she was talking, she's you know, uh, in, in her video, the latest, the latest video entitled "Sleep Problems." I've got the hiccups. Uh, she's in bed vlogging because she can't sleep, and she says it's around two o'clock in the morning. Well, it's almost four o'clock in the morning. This, if you watched X Plus, is my standard. I'm typically up, still up, and working at four o'clock in the morning. And you'll you've seen this, and you, 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 you watched enough of the videos that my sleep schedule, in terms of my night and day, has been completely thrown off. There is no standard night and day for me anymore. And this is why, I, instead of having the dash, I put the tilde sign, which stands for an approximate, in terms of approximating the day, because there is no hard and set standard day. It's an approximate day. So, anyways, <laughs> Cassandra is having her... Uh, moments of fatigue and all of the <laughs> the thinking that go, when you get into that tired state that, that state of sleep depriv deprivation weird things start going through your mind you start thinking about things in a very weird and unusual manner and so this is uh, what's happening to Cassandra so I thought that would be interesting and it says uh, this is going to be the last segment of the day I've got one video on the way up to two YouTube right now. Uh, I did. Uh, it's basically my third my third video so far today. Anyways, uh, tomorrow we'll start. Uh, it's gonna be a, a, again a late night tomorrow because earlier in the day uh, I'm leaving to go to my parents' house. Uh, my my niece has her ballet recital at 6:30. So I'm going around 3.30 to uh, have a late lunch with my parents. And then uh, gonna hang out there for a bit and then go to uh, my niece's uh, ballet recital. So I'm going to do a shout out to Claire. Uh, this is for her ballet recital. And uh, hopefully uh, when it's up, uh, I'll send her the link and let her know that I gave her a little shout out. Alright, uh, take it easy and we will see you. Uh, ironically, in a couple hours. <laughs> Alright, bye.